I just saw as much footage as I could possibly find about the whole Sonya Massey situation. That was one ugly situation. I mean, well, really beyond ugly. There's been a lot of speculation from other content creators on this app that have said that some have said she threw a pot of boiling water at the cop. And I'm looking right at the footage and I watched it quite a few times to make sure I didn't miss anything. I didn't see her pick up and throw anything. All she had was some like oven mitts in her hand and ducked down because she was scared. And then next thing I saw was the cop um, who threw up, who shot three rounds, I believe, at Sonya Massey, hence deleting her. And what's crazy is I, what I found out about that officer that let off the rounds. He has like a history of a DUI and he's worked in several police departments and he does not have a good record behind him. I don't understand how someone like that is even on the police force. But then again, let's be real. Like there's, there's new hotheads on the police force every single day. And can you just imagine how many sides of the story there would have been had there been no body cam footage at all? Imagine if we're still in a time where cops did not wear body cameras at all. And all we could go off of was this person said, saw this or that person saw that. We would have never known what truly happened if it was not for those body cams. And had no body cams been there and if no one was there to really, or if there was no witnesses or bystanders, I don't think there was, but just say there there was no body cams or there was no witnesses or no bystanders watching. Chances are they could have that cop could have probably finessed his way out of the situation and got off. If if I'm not mistaken, um, I think that cop is being sentenced. Correct me if I'm wrong. And if he isn't, if he does if this police officer who did this heinous act on this human being does not get properly charged, does not get uh, the sentencing that he deserves. Bro. I mean, people already can barely trust law enforcement, and this is going to put another nail in the coffin if you ask me.